Hello, everybody. Hello, Hi. Epiphany. Welcome Good to evening. Compline on this uh, <laughs> second Sunday of Advent. We hope everybody's had a great week. Cannot believe we're already uh, towards the finish line of 2020. I know many people are looking forward to it being over this week. Uh, just a reminder to please get your prayer requests in so we can make sure to pray for you as you need it. Sorry, we're a little bit late joining this evening. Um, interesting week in the prayer book. Uh, we had the uh, feast days for John of Damascus from the 8th century, who is one of the patrons of the Eastern Orthodox Church. We had Clement of Alexandria from the 2nd century, who's one of the original church fathers. Uh, we had Channing Williams from the 18th century, century, really lived until 1910, so the early 20th century, really helped establish the Anglican Church in Japan. We had Nicholas Farrar, who was born in the 16th century, lived into the 17th century, and established a Christian community outside of London. But of course, tis the season, so today is actually the feast day for St. Nicholas. And Susanna and I know this well because St. Nicholas Day is really uh, celebrated in Western Europe where we lived for five and a half years in Germany. St. Nicholas of Mira from the fourth century, very interesting fellow. Uh, Mira is now in the uh, uh, modern day Turkey. It's a coastal city. But St. Nicholas was a famous uh, patron in the early Christian church. Uh, he was well known because uh, the legend says that St. Nicholas uh, became uh, uh, a supporter of a man that had uh, was a devout man, had lost all of his wealth due to uh, uh, what St. Nicholas refers to as the, as, the, uh, as the work of Satan. And he had three daughters to marry. And so St. Nicholas helped him by secretly giving him uh, money for his dowry for his three daughters. And so would secretly deliver a purse uh, to him to be able to fulfill those dowries. And so that started the tradition of gift giving of St. Nicholas of Myra. So uh, the and fourth century St. Nicholas. Didn't he leave it in drying stockings? That's what they say, yeah. So in Germany where we grew up, and there's some <laughs> controversy around St. Nicholas Day, but St. Nicholas Day was celebrated uh, by everybody by leaving out your boots on the porch on the evening of the 5th. So our boys still to this day remember that because you would leave your boots out and they'd be filled with gifts and goodies on the morning of the 6th on St. Nicholas Day. So St. Nicholas of Myra being celebrated in the Anglican calendar today. So very interesting. Um, anyhow, we're looking forward to doing Compline this evening. Again, sorry, we were a little bit late joining. Uh, we were just uh, getting back from dinner this evening and didn't realize what time it was. So we're glad to be here with you. Uh, we hope everybody uh, was able to celebrate this weekend uh, Betsy had a fabulous message today, um, so hopefully you were able to see that. Um, and we hope everybody's really doing well during this time of Advent as we all uh, wait and are anxious for the arrival of, uh, of Jesus uh, here on the 25th. So I cannot believe it's already the 6th of December. It seems uh, unbelievable that Christmas is less than three weeks away. And we also hope people got to enjoy Lessons and Carols tonight at 6 o'clock with the live uh, stream. So hopefully you are able to enjoy that as well. And with that, we'll get ready for Compline. Again, please make sure that you get those prayer requests in. And we'll begin the order for Compline. <clears throat> so here we go. Page 127 in your prayer book. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Oh. Starting with Psalm 4 on 128, we'll read responsively by whole verse. 
Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. All right. Moving to the middle of page 131. We'll do the last Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift Lift up up your hands in the the holy holy place place and bless bless the the Lord, the the Lord Lord who who made made heaven heaven and earth, earth, bless you out of Zion. Zion. Glory to to the the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Continuing on page 131. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And then we'll read the second one as well. Come to me, all who, are, who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. All right, moving to the responsive in the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O oh, Lord. Sorry. Oh, oh God, Lord of, of God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eyes. Hide, Hide us, us under, under the, the shadow, shadow of, of your, your wings. wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And our cry comes, call to you. Let, to you. let us pray. Now we'll move to the second collect. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the fourth collect. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace and let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And then to the middle of page 134, the second additional prayer. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right. Now looking for those intercessions that are coming in. Mm -hmm. Sorry, trying to catch up. And again, happy St. Nicholas Day, a busy week in the prayer book, as will be next week. We look forward to seeing you next Sunday. We encourage everybody to worship as you can uh, throughout the week with the lady-led prayer services and certainly with the worship services that are available on Saturday and Sunday and on Wednesday. And uh, we just miss seeing everybody in person, but uh, love uh, the engagement everybody's having. And please do put in those prayer requests this evening. We even have, uh, we have a nice crowd this evening. We even have Mother Betsy with us tonight, which is great. Okay. And here are the prayer requests. And then here's a Thanksgiving. Awesome. Yay. Maybe we start with Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Okay. All right. So, so let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this extraordinary time of Advent that we're celebrating together as we begin the liturgical year and as we all await the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we we lift up Thanksgiving for the amazing opportunity to be together as a community, for our opportunity to have our lessons and carols this evening, and for all that's going on in the Epiphany community. 
Father, we pray especially this evening for all those that are impacted by COVID and by the crisis, those that may be sick and need you to pour your healing grace upon them, those that are struggling in any way, being impacted by the crisis, by the isolation, and help them to try and stay connected as best they can. Father, we pray for the Gomez family who's been impacted by the flooding in Honduras and Central America. Uh, we pray for David Ledvitz helping to uh, feeding the poor uh, and lots of individuals who are sick right now, as we said, waiting for test results that may be anxious or not sure what's going on right now. And uh, this is, uh, I just want to make sure this is a dog. Livy, L-I-V-Y. L-I-V-Y, who has a mass on her tummy, trying to make sure that she's okay during this time. Father, we also pray, uh, we, Susanna and I certainly have kids that are going through finishing up the first semester of the school year, whether they be in college or high school or all the way down through elementary that are dealing with finishing that up, staying safe. Father, we pray for the teachers who are continuing to help them through this, for all the frontline healthcare workers that are taking care of us through this time. And we just ask for your continued blessings on the Epiphany community. Help us, as always, to stay connected. Uh, we all have our own special needs to be attended to and help us to really, the Epiphany community continue to reach out to each other and to be there for each other during this time. We thank you for our clergy, for the amazing leadership of Mother Betsy, Canon David, Canon Neil, and, and all of the amazing staff at Epiphany to continue to take care of us. And we look forward to continuing to celebrate this Advent season. And Father, we ask for a glorious week coming forward. Uh, and we look forward to being together as much as we can. And it's in your name we pray. Okay. Amen. Thank you. All right. We'll finish up the service now with the Song of Simeon. Uh, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go, to go in into peace, peace as you, you have, have promised. promised. For the eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom, whom you, you have, have prepared, prepared for, for all the world, world to see. see. A light to enlighten the nations, and a glory, glory of your, your people Israel. Israel. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the, Son, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. And repeat. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. All right, Epiphany, we love you. We miss you. Again, sorry we were a few minutes late with our uh, facts this evening and getting ready for Compline, but we look forward to being together next weekend. And in the meantime, uh, stay connected, reach out if there's anything we can do, <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Have a great week.